time now for the Did You Know segment. Stay with me. We all know how it is in the Olympics, you know, how records have been set, people are doing the things, others have been disqualified and everything. It's a big issue right now, and that's why on our discussions, though, we're talking global Africa in the Olympics. Oh whole lot of events took place, you know, and there are, you know, some key athletes that decide to drop out, you know, and after actually presenting themselves, making themselves available to compete for the, to represent their nations, unfortunately, one or two things happened, but we're going to be looking at why and the effects it also has on, you know, the uh, what do you call it, uh, colleagues, athletes as well, but then, did you know Funke? Oshunika is the first African woman and first female table tennis player to compete in seven Olympics. Yeah, seven Olympics. So we're looking at 1996, we're looking at 2000, we're looking at 2004, 2008, 2012, 2016, and 2020. Yeah, big time. Seven you know, um, Olympics. Now, she was inducted into the seventh club of the International Table Tennis Federation, ITTF, to mark this achievement. It is definitely and deserves to be mentioned, deserves to be, uh, you know, uh, given the necessary accolades because uh, you find people in this space and, you know, uh, over a period of time, kind of like you drop out because, uh, unfortunately, you had something that didn't really, you know, uh, go well with you. Uh, that's where you find people falling victims to testing and stuff, and they've had this, and they, they don't even do drugs. But at the end of the day, you f they find some of these, you know, uh, substance in their body and start asking yourself, how did this happen? But thanks to, uh, you know, uh, how do you call it? We, we thank God that this didn't really go on with Funke Oshunika and uh, her great, amazing feat. She achieved seven Olympics, 1996, 2000, 2004, 2008, 2012, 2016, and 2020. For more, log on to africaglobalradio.com.